Well, we're finally back, and there's a lot of sports kicking up. Hockey's one of them. And, well, UC's got an exhibition tonight. So, it's weird. I haven't done one of these in forever. It feels like forever. Last one I did was um, a game down in Hartford. It feels like it's been forever. But it also feels like yesterday. I can remember driving down there with a buddy of mine. So it's like surreal that the season's back and most of the roster's coming back. So obviously tonight you have SUNY Canton as an exhibition and then next week on Friday the SUNY Potsdam, another exhibition, and then the season kicks off the following week against number three, Adrian. Yuka does come into the season ranked, ranked high, very high, and in the top 10, which is where he is expected. And, I mean, tonight's going to be interesting. I think it's going to be like last ex- uh, last uh, season, and like it usually is. Gary probably won't be behind the bench for the exhibition and just have Coach Nick and Coach Decker there because usually that'll happen. He'll just go and, like, he won't coach for a game or two games for the exhibition. You will prob- you probably won't see the lineup I don't think is out. I can check right now, but I don't think it's out. And even if it is, it's probably not going to be your normal lineup. Just because I, usually with the exhibitions, Coach Heenan will shuffle in the guys. The new, all the new guys will usually get time. And some of the guys that may be in the fighting to get a spot on the fourth line or as the extra will probably be battling tonight. It probably won't necessarily be your starters. It probably won't, ne- well, your top two lines for the forwards and maybe your top D line. So... It all depends on who Gary wants to play and just do his thing with because, I mean, you have the new, I think there's three freshmen and a couple transfers coming in. So it's like, okay, we'll test you, see how you fit with certain lines. The lines are probably going to shuffle a hundred times tonight. That's just how it's probably going to go for the exhibition. I also don't know what to expect in terms of people. You know, I'm excited. I don't know how many people are going to be there. Um, but looking at the lineup, I mean, you have... I, I don't know how to say this person's name yet. Schultheis? I'm guessing. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Um, transfer in from Fresno State University... Or Fair State University. Not the first one in the last couple of years. And obviously you have a bunch of the younger guys returning. Um... Because, I mean, you're, you're going to see him get – you're going to see that new kid get time. You have freshmen like Sarah Feli and Bax. You also have Rap, who are all freshmen who will probably get some rotation time today. Um, Brolt returns back as a graduate student. I didn't see that earlier. But you also have another transfer in Johnny Malera. So you have three freshmen, two transfers who are probably going to see a share of time tonight just to see, hey, where do you fit? Who do you fit with? Who do you play with? Because you can, you could put grad student with grad student and do, and do um, the new kid that I still can't say his name in Scoville. You can do that. You're probably, you may see the wood gut Murph line with Carol on the side this, this game. They, that could be tested out. You're probably going to see a lower-level guy in terms of lineup like Lundberg tonight, Javier, those guys that last year didn't crack those four lines in those big games, those tough-to-play games, if that makes any sense, and did get some cracks like against Lehigh Valley, where I think that's who Javier had his hat trick against. But, I mean, it'll be interesting you also see the 1A, 1B situation of Roberts and Landsberg, or Landsberger this year. Again, Roberts is a junior, Landsberger is a senior, plus you have Sturz as the third, who is also a junior. A great, I like, the, I, li- I love the goalie room. They're all awesome. And, I mean, we'll really see how it goes, because 
right now it's just throw some guys in, screw around, probably do the job and get it done. But I'm really excited. If you can't tell, um, I'm trying not to literally jump, uh, fly out of my seat all game. Uh, it's going to be interesting. I mean, I'm so happy. I can't wait. It, it's hard to contain the excitement for the first couple games of the year because you're like, it's back. It's finally back. And then as you get through the season, you're like, okay, tempered um, energy in one way, but more energy in another because you're settled in and you're s yelling and screaming and screwing around. You know, so it'll be interesting. We'll see if any of the season ticket holders shuffle this year because there's a couple I know. So, I mean, for anyone who's going, I hope it's a good game for you. For me, I think as long as you see wins, it'll be a good game regardless. And watch out for the guy with the towel on his head because that's going to be me. <laughs> and I'm going to lose my mind tonight. I don't. I have, I have a flag. I wish I could bring it, but it's too big. I have to order a new one. I think I've mentioned that before. I bought a flag for the games, and then I got it too big. But anyways, I'll anyone who's at the game, hope you have a good game. Hopefully, it's really good. And I mean, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Peace.